Good evening. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Fine. Anybody asleep? No. no. Shame on you. It's quite magical, eh? Yeah, brilliant. Could you imagine doing anything else in the world that you live so intensely for five days and nights, eh? <laughs> uh, it's always a, a, a joy to play with Ed, and uh, this he's kind of stuck with me <laughs> at the Tudor's concert over all these years. Um, so, uh, but we're going to do something, and I've, I've just sprung it on him, actually, over at the picnic table. It's a new tune, and uh, it's an error that I wrote at the end of last year uh, for someone who uh, I didn't know very long, and uh, they came and they went, and afterwards, uh, I thought to myself, there are people who just, that's, they're only there for a little while and the message they bring is just as important and sometimes more important than people who they can be there for a long, long time. So uh, it was a, a girl called Orla and uh, a sweet tune just came out of nowhere, so we'll play it for you. It's very slow. But... As my son Olin knows, I have only one phobia in the whole world. Can you imagine what that might be? Moth. 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 Bat. Bang on, Ellie. Moth. Moths. Moth. Moth. So, if Ed only finds himself on his own. <laughs> I reckon they're butterflies. <laughs> I'll just keep filling this up, but yeah. <laughs>
we're going to play uh, a tune now, a lovely tune that was written by the great fiddle player um, Zoe Conway, who was a tutor here for a little while as well. Anyone remember Zoe? Yeah. And uh, she's one of my favourite fiddle players. She's amazing. Um, and she she wrote this tune for the great Irish poet Seamus Heaney, who died a couple of years ago. It's a uh, a march called Ode to Seamus. <clears throat> and the flute is making a rare outing. <laughs> so then we'll, after that we'll play something a wee bit faster. Thanks to Ed again. <laughs> <laughs> 